Now this could be specific to me, but when I was setting up my TCL30 XE 5G, I was pretty confused about how to get icons on the home screen. Now typically, what I'd expect is that I would just hold my finger down on an icon and then I could like drag it up and drop it on the home screen or something of that nature. But when I do this, it doesn't matter with whatever app, it doesn't do that. So I was kind of confused. And you can see with other devices, like the Pixel 6 Pro, if I wanted to add an app to the home screen, all I have to do is quickly hold my finger down and then immediately I could drop the app in. Now what I ended up figuring out, and I want to make this video because I figured there might be other people in this situation, and it did take me about five minutes to figure this out, but you actually have to hold your finger down for an extra second or two on the icon to actually move it into your home screen. So I'll show you. So for example, if I want to put the gallery app on another page here, instead of holding my finger down and quickly moving the app, I actually have to hold my finger down for several seconds, and then you have the ability to put it on your home screen. For a second, I thought there was some sort of bug with the device or a glitch that was preventing me from putting icons on the home screen, but eventually I figured out that you just have to hold your finger for a little bit longer on the icons than you typically would on other Android devices, and then you can easily put the icons on your home screen as you typically would. Now while you're here, there's a few other things I want to show you in the app drawer that you might not be aware of. The first thing is, is that you can actually go in the upper right corner here and you can sort icons in different ways. So you can sort by name, you can sort by usage. So the ones that you'll use more often will now be at the top of your app drawer here. You can also sort by installation date, which is kind of interesting. And this last one's pretty cool. You can specifically sort by icon color. So it goes through the entire rainbow here and then sorts the icons accordingly. Now then from here, if you wanna remove any apps that you have on your home screen, you can hold down on the app and then you can go to remove. So pretty normal with pretty much any Android device. Now here's another one that you might find to be useful. When you swipe over, you'll get the Google feed here. If you wanna get rid of that, you can actually hold down on the home screen, go to home settings, and you'll see right there that you can actually disable the Google feed. So now you're not gonna be always pulling that up. So if you're not a big fan of that feature, you do have the ability to remove that. You can also go here in the home settings and make further customizations. So for example, right now, you can see that in the app drawer, it does show your recent apps up top here. But if that's not helpful to you, which honestly for me, it's really not, you can go to those settings, you can disable that. Now when you're in the app drawer, you'll just see the apps and not your recent apps, which is kind of nice. And then here's another one that you might find to be helpful. If you want apps to automatically be added to the home screen when they're installed, you can actually enable that and it will continue to add the apps to the home screen as you do install them. So they won't just be in the app drawer. And if you want to, you can even get rid of the app drawer altogether and just have a home screen, similar to how iOS used to be until they added the app library. But you just go here and then you can see that you have the choice between home and drawer screen or just the home screen, that's it. And all of your apps will then be shown on the home screen itself. So pretty cool that we have all these different options and customizations and abilities available here. It's certainly a way to make the most out of your TCL30 XE 5G. But anyway, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I just personally had an issue with getting these apps on the home screen. So again, just long press on the app, a little bit longer than you typically would on other Android devices, and then you'll be good to go. But if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and sub to the channel. Also check out my other tips and tricks videos about this phone. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.